So here we have the Ford S-Max on a 59 plate. I'm gonna start off by showing you around the outside of the car and then we'll hop in and run through some controls on the inside. But from the outside, you can see it's a five door car with alloy wheels and tinted windows. Let's start off inside the boot and then work our way around the rest of the car from there. As we approach the boot, you can see we have reversing sensors. Currently all seven seats are in place. So this is the amount of boot space you have as a seven seater. Let me show you what it's like with the two rear seats folded down. As you can see, you get loads of additional space if you fold those down. You can also fold down the three remaining seats as well, should you wish to. Okay, so we're just gonna work our way back around to the front of the car and then we'll hop in and run through some controls on the inside. But now that we've done a full circle of it, you can see it's in excellent condition the whole way round. Just briefly before we climb in, I think it's well worth seeing the interior from this exterior point of view. There's plenty to run through on the dashboard, so let's hop in and we'll do that now. Okay, now that we're inside the car, we're gonna start with the dials. On the left-hand side, we have the rev counter and on the right-hand side, the speedometer. We also have the fuel gauge and coolant temperature gauges over on the right as well. In the center, you can see the total miles for the car, which are 75,215. The information displayed above that can be changed using buttons on the steering wheel. There are various menus available, as you can see, uh, and they include your music options, so CD, radio, auxiliary input, and you can have your trip computer information displayed up here as well, should you wish to. Uh, any piece of information you want there is uh, available to you, and that is done by pressing the buttons just here. Uh, beneath that, we have the controls for uh, cruise control. So you can set it from this side uh, and then adjust the speed accordingly with these controls. Also over on the left here, we have stereo controls for the car. The stereo itself is over in the center just here. And we have controls down the left-hand side for your CD player, your auxiliary input as well. Uh, you can access the various different radio uh, bands from on here too. Uh, you can make your main uh, adjustments to volume from the center here. Uh, and then you have various other controls available through the middle, as you can see. So things like, for example, uh, your phone controls are over here, so you can answer and end phone calls once you pair the phone up, of course. You can turn the stereo on and off from here. Uh, so you can see radio-wise, we have DAB radio. We've got long wave, medium wave as well, and FM. And then eventually we'll come back round to the DAB again. Working our way down from there, we have dual zone climate control. So you can adjust the passenger temperature, the driver temperature. You can increase and decrease the fan speed. You can determine where you'd like the air to be distributed within the car. When you're happy with those settings, the air conditioning is on at the minute. This button here will turn it on and off. So off, back on again, or you can hit auto. And in doing so, the car will now maintain the temperatures you've asked for by taking full control of the fan speed and the direction of the air for you. You can override that at any point in time you wish and put it back on whatever setting you want it on there. In here, we have a 12 volt charging socket, a cigarette lighter, and some storage space as well. And then a six speed manual gearbox. All that leads me to say is thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If you'd like to come and see the car for yourself and have a test drive, please feel free to give us a call here at Glenbournes. We'd love to hear from you soon.